it's, it's great to get back in this series. Obviously, winning game two was a must win for us if we were going to try to get back in this thing. And, um, you know, the credit falls on Brooks Crawford, uh, Matt Clark, and Ryan Miller today. Uh, Ryan Miller, uh, you know, again, he's been the glue uh, that we need out of the bullpen. When we need a big performance. He's the guy that we go to, and we were able to stretch him out tonight. And, um, and he did an outstanding job. I thought our defense was good. Uh, we hit just enough. Um, kept getting guys on base, but uh, you know, just could not deliver the big blow. Even though we did have two uh, two out hits to score runs with Cromwell and uh, Kyle Wilkie, you know, was the big hit of the day. You know, two out single uh, to make it five one. Uh, but overall, we pitched uh, and we defended very well, and uh, even the series up. And now we get to go back to Doug Kingsmore for game three. So we're excited about the opportunity uh, to try to see if we can win this series at home. Marty, when you're able to keep getting guys on base, um, the leadoff guy on over and over again, do you feel like eventually you guys will break through? I did. You know, I did. I just I felt like we needed a two-out hit. You know, and, and I think our guys are you know, probably putting a little bit too much pressure on themselves in those moments instead of just being aggressive. Just be aggressive. you got three strikes to work with and use every one of them with runners in scoring position. So, um, but, you know, Cromwell uh, was the first guy, you know, to get that big two-out hit and then Wilkie after that. So, uh, you know, that was good to see. But uh, we kept getting guys on base. We kept putting together good at-bats. Uh, you know, we took our free passes. I think we walked. Uh, we, we walked 10 times today, so you know that's a big part of our offense. We uh, and uh, if we weren't patient at the plate and didn't take those walks, we'd have had a hard time scoring. So, um, but again, we pitched and we defended and we scored enough, and uh, you know we're glad to get out of here with a win. Coach, uh, it's the second time that Kyle's come through with a big clutch hit for you all. Um, how much do you think that can help his confidence going forward? Well, he's a confident kid. You know, he's a confident kid, so. He, he likes to say uh, sometimes before the game that he'll be seeing me in the press conference, you know, after the game. So, you know, he's, uh, he, I know he said it one time. He's right. <laughs> I told him if he had two hits today, he'd be hitting what he bench presses, which is about 185. <laughs> well, obviously, it's, it's really early in the season, but how important is this series for the rest of the year, just be, given what it is? Well, you know, I, I, I'll say this. Um, it's always fun to be in this environment uh, for my guys to compete uh, in the best rivalry in all of college baseball. Uh, so um, it's just fun to be a part of it. Um, and, you know, the series, obviously we got a big game tomorrow. We're both going to compete as hard as we can to win this series. Uh, but we feel good going at home. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can put together, you know, a good ball game, continue to pitch and defend. Uh, and put together good at bats, and uh, you know we got Higgy going tomorrow. Higgy's uh, been very good for us, so uh, you know, hopefully we can find a way to win. But our guys uh, continue to compete, and I'm proud of them. Kyle, what about that confidence that Coach says you have, and kind of what's your mindset going up there in that situation? In that situation, I I just got in a good count, three one count right there, and I knew he was going to throw a fastball, so I'd been a little late on a few pitches, but. Just like he said, you got three strikes, use them, be aggressive, and I got a pitch where I wanted it. And I just got to keep swinging the bat, keep putting good swings on it. And you were confident even, I think you were hitting 129 at that point. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Ryan, you know, it seemed like you've really thrived in that bullpen role. What's been kind of the key uh, for you to, to have that kind of success in that role? Do you enjoy that role? And yeah, uh, who wouldn't? But for me, I mean, it has to do with the infielders. I mean, I'm a, I'm a ground ball guy. Um, Got an awesome defense behind me, so I mean, I have all the confidence in the world that at any point I can get a ground ball, we can turn double play like we did tonight. Marty, what explanation did you get from the umpires when Seth was, I guess, tagged out at second? Yeah, that's you know that's a play that doesn't happen a whole lot. Um, you know, basically once once the throw, you know, he was running because it was a full count. We were going to start the runner to try to stay out of the double play, and uh, you know, the throw he was out on the throw, and I and. You know, from, from what I can tell, I think the umpire let him know that it was ball four, but Seth did not hear him. So Seth thought he was out. So, you know, he didn't hear him say ball four, and that was my question to him is did you, did you tell him that it was ball four? Um, you know, the explanation was, was that he did, but I don't know if Seth heard him, uh, which is, you know, again, it, it's, 
you know, the big key for us as a team and as a coach, I got to make sure my guys understand, you know, they got to stay on the bag right there until they know exactly, you know, what the call was. Uh, but, um, you know, the big thing is, is we got to learn from it. And uh, it doesn't happen too often, but we, we certainly can't have that happen. Patrick, a big two out single there, score two runs. Thank you. Take us through that at bat. Yeah, uh, I mean, just wasn't really trying to do too much. It's kind of weird sometimes when they got the infield shifted on you. Um, and I just didn't want to let that kind of get in my head or anything. Just tried to stay up the middle with it. Kind of got out front a tiny bit, but, you know, it worked out in the end and kind of got the gears rolling. Wilkie picked us up <coughs> with another two out hits. So that was big time. Monty, you talked about it a little bit last night, but just needing to have better play discipline and not chase pitches. Is that is that what you saw today? I thought our play discipline was good. You know, we, uh, we did a good job of laying off the fastball up. Morris's fastball was running a lot off the plate to our left-handed hitter, so we tried to make sure we stayed in the middle of the plate. So I thought our plate discipline was really good, and um, you know um, that was the biggest difference, you know, for us. We just continued to get guys on base and put pressure on them, and you know, fortunately for us, guys like Cromwell and Wilkie, who I give a hard time to, but I love him. Um, you know, they came up with big hits, and we needed it today. Ryan, what do you think the key was in keeping their hitters off balance? I mean, just a constant mix of pitches. I think Brooks does an awesome job with it. Matt Clark came in and did it, and I, mean, I just pitched to my strengths. You know, get ground balls, let the defense work. A lot of, sorry, a lot of follow up in that. A lot of sinkers, it seemed like, and then just the occasional breaking ball in there. Yeah, you know, I just you just got to throw one in there every once in a while, so they can't just start guessing. Um, that's pretty much all it takes, to be honest. Kyle, uh, Kyle, it's such a tough loss last night, your first of the season, and of course you know what's at stake, a three-year winning streak against South Carolina. What was the temperament of the team after that game? Uh, we were extremely calm today. You know, last night we knew that, you know, just things happen. It's baseball. Um, you're not going to win every game. They said, you know, he told us, Coach Lee told us yesterday the Astros lost 62 games last year. Okay, so they won the World Series. You know, we're not going to go be perfect, and it happened. So we were all pretty calm, and we knew we just got to go out be more disciplined at the plate and do what we know how to do. Just piggybacking off of that, Monty, did you learn anything about your team today with the way they responded on such a short turnaround in the way last night did? You know, I, I, I think as a coach, you know, you we, we feel everything. You know, I mean, we feel all the emotions and the frustrations and, you know, you second guess yourself to death because you want to put your team in a position to be successful. So we're we're so accountable as coaches, and the one thing that we that I always ask our team to do is look. Let's learn from when we lose, but let's move forward. You guys got to continue to be confident. You got to be loose. You got to enjoy being together. Like we got to enjoy coming to the ballpark every day, regardless if we're on a five-game winning streak or or we just lost a tough game like we did. Uh, last night at South Carolina, you know, we have to stay upbeat. We can't carry over in um, last night's game into today. And I think our guys understand that, and they do a great job of being loose, being able to turn the page and move on from it. Even early today in our ball in the ball game today, we kept getting runners on base and kept leaving guys on base. And uh, you know, our guys were letting it go, moving on. Uh, controlling what they could control, which was just competing every pitch, playing good defense behind our pitching staff who did an amazing job. So I thought we remained calm, very loose in the dugout today, good energy in the dugout, uh, not getting too frustrated. And I think that's the big key is just being consistent every day with, with how we approach the game. So, um, you know, I was very proud of my team on how we bounced back. We didn't play perfect baseball today. We didn't play a great baseball game from an offensive standpoint. But the constant is, as we continue to pitch and defend, and you know, when you got guys like Crawford and, and Clark and, and Ryan Miller, you know, pitching the way that they pitch, they're always going to give us a chance. So, uh, just proud of my team today, and uh, excited to, to see how we do tomorrow. Is there anything you you can say to Bryce to get him to settle down at the plate? Well, you know, I mean, I, I try to talk to Bryce, um, you know, after his at bats. Um, and it's tough. I mean, we're talking about a true freshman who, uh, who did not get to play at all in the fall. Uh, but he's a plus defender. We've seen what he can do when he, when he gets the ball on the barrel. He's got power. He can run. He can defend. Uh, he's probably just putting a little bit too much pressure on himself. So, um, you know, I continue to talk to him, try to help him. But it's a process. You know, the only way you develop in the game of baseball is by playing. And you've got to continue to fail and learn and grow. And, uh, you know, he's going he's gonna to learn from it. He's going to get better from it. He's a big-time competitor. 
um, he'll be fine. You know, he's just got to just got to relax and keep competing and and not let it get the best of him and uh, keep playing great defense behind our pitching staff and he'll be okay. Could you brought uh, Jordan Green in for for Bird last night. Grayson started today. Was there any deliberation about that on your part? Uh, no, you know we just feel like Greeny's a really good defender. You know we feel like he's a very consistent defender at second base. So we just felt like uh, you know play offense early in the ball game. That was the thought process with the right-handed starter going, and then we could bring Green in. You know after Bird you know finishes at bats for that day, felt like it was the right time to bring to bring uh, Greeny in. Uh, play defense. You know, we, we put a lot of value in the last nine outs of the ball game on the defensive end, so felt like we wanted to put, you know, Greeny in that position where he could uh, catch and throw the baseball, which is his strength. That's what he does best. Thank you.